Welcome to this video on anonymous functions in Python. There was a big news sometimes back in June 2021 in Hindustan Times and other media that Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk was put on by some anonymous person over the matter of Tesla, Bitcoin and Mars plan. And this is the video of same news which you can find on YouTube. But important point to be noted is that every person has some name and identity but because of some reason a person may hide his name and identity. Such persons are called anonymous persons. Similarly, functions in Python have their name and identity but for performing some tasks more efficiently and in a better way, anonymous functions are available in Python. So the functions without name are called anonymous functions similar to anonymous person. In this subsection, you will learn what is anonymous function in Python, syntax of anonymous functions, practical examples of anonymous functions, advantages and disadvantages of anonymous functions, and finally applications of anonymous functions. Now let us learn what is anonymous function in detail. So as I said, a function without name is called anonymous function. And def keyword is not required for defining anonymous function. They are defined using lambda keyword and hence they are called as lambda functions also. So lambda functions or anonymous functions are single line functions without return statement. There is no need to write explicit return statement. They implicitly return data from the anonymous function. Now let us look at how to write a program using lambda function. But before writing a program using lambda function, let us look at an example of how we use regular functions to find square of a number. So here is a function definition and this is a function call and function name is find underscore square one parameter is there then colon and then here we are computing square of x that is whatever value we pass from function call and then we are returning and here is a function call we are passing 4 so 4 will be passed over here and square of 4 is computed over here and it will return back over here so now let us run it so we can see that square of 4 is nothing but 16 and hence we are getting 16 now let us see how we can define anonymous function for computing square of a number here is a definition of regular function as we have seen so in regular function def keyword is used in lambda functions lambda keyword is used in regular function there is a name of a function but in lambda function we don't have a name and here we have a parameter and same way over here in lambda function we have a parameter so up here after def keyword there is a name and then parameter but in lambda function after lambda keyword directly we have a parameter and here we have a colon so similarly anonymous function also we have a colon then we have a statements within the function definition and here also this is a statement within the function definition that performs the task required to be performed by that particular function. So this is a very simple definition of anonymous function for computing square of a number similar to the regular function for computing square of a number. Now to use this function we are calling this function but here we don't have a name of the function. So the question is how we can use this lambda function in our program. So for using this lambda function we need to assign this lambda function to an user defined variable so here sqr is a user defined variable and this lambda function in or anonymous function is assigned to a variable and for using this lambda function we can use this variable with a parenthesis uh, and the parameter to be passed to the lambda function now this is one way of using the lambda second way of using the lambda function is we can directly define this function in other function also that we will see later on also but right now just remember that for using this lambda function we need to assign it to a variable and then we can use that variable like this for passing this and it will return the value over here so now let us run this program so here we can see that we are getting the same answer as we are getting over here because square of 4 is nothing but 16 now say for example 6 then square of 6 is 36 once again let me tell you how this anonymous function is executed so he, this is a variable and we have a parameter within parenthesis 6 is passed to this lambda function because this lambda function is identified using this user defined variable. So 6 is passed as a parameter to this lambda function or anonymous function then this x over here used for computing square and then it implicitly returns the value back over here and 
hence we are getting this answer. Now let us look at the syntax and four components of an honest function. So the four components are very first one is lambda keyword, second is parameter list separated by comma, third component is colon and fourth component is expression or statement within the anonymous function which performs the required task. Now let us look at more examples of anonymous function. Here is a program add two numbers using regular function. So it's very simple def keyword name of the function parameters and we are returning sum of x plus y here we are calling. Now let us see how we can define an anonymous function for adding two numbers. So very first thing is lambda keyword. Now here we have a two variables. So we have to pass two variables x comma y then the colon and then we have to perform the addition of numbers so directly perform that x plus y so this x plus y is computed means summation of x plus y is done now for using this we have to assign this lambda function to a variables and say that variable is say for example s now for using this lambda function we have to use that variable with the parenthesis and we have to pass to parameter say 4 comma 5 and now let us run it so we can see that we are getting the sum of two numbers 4 plus 5 so this is how we can define a lambda function for computing sum of two numbers now let us change these numbers say 10 plus 15 so it should be 25 so here we are getting 25 now let us see how we can define an anonymous function for checking whether number is odd or even but before that let us look at how we define a regular function to check whether number is odd or even so here is a name of the function then one parameter the number n which we want to check whether that number is odd or even then within if condition we are checking whether this n mod 2 is equal to 0 or not means whether this number n is divisible by 2 or not if it is divisible by 2 means the number is even and hence we have to return true if number is not divisible by 2 means number is odd and hence we have to return else from here we are calling now let us define anonymous function for checking whether number is odd or even so very first thing is lambda keyword and then we have to pass a parameter so here we have only one parameter n and then the colon and now here we have to write a condition and condition is if n mod 2 equal equals 0 now here just remember the most important point here is a condition and when we have a condition in regular function we are writing return true after if condition but in case of anonymous functions we have to write the statement or a value which should be executed when this condition is true before the condition and then we have to write a else keyword similar to that and here we have to write a value or a statement or expression which should be executed when this condition is false so this is a definition of a program to check whether a number is even or odd now for using this we have to assign it to a user term variable so here we have assigned it and now for using it we have to call this lambda function using the variable name and here we have to pass one value so say for example here we are passing 5 so 5 is a odd number and hence it is returning false because it is not divisible by 2 now say for example if i pass 10 so 10 is divisible by 2 and hence it is a even number so it should return true so let us see it is written true now here we are returning either true or false but say for example we want to print a message that the number is odd or even so then we can define that like this say let us write the function over here lambda then n then colon and here we have to write a print statement let us write a message the number which number n the number n is even in place of this true we have to write this statement that the number is even if this condition is true and then we have to write a condition if n mod 2 if n mod 2 equals equals 0 and in else part print a statement that the number n is odd now uh, let me make this function name smaller odd even oe so oe is a user defined variable and now let me right over here and let me pass 10 over here so 10 is a even number so this statement should be printed now let us run it we can see that the number 10 is even now let us pass over here 13 so we can see that the number 13 is odd so this is how we can define a lambda function for checking whether number is odd or even
Now let us write a program to print numbers between 1 to 50 which are divisible by 3 and 5. So here we have to check two conditions whether number is divisible by 3 and 5 we have an end condition. If both the conditions are true then we have to return true else we have to return false. So now let us define an anonymous function to check whether a given number is divisible by 3 and 5 both or not. So first of all let us start with lambda keyword then we have to pass a variable that is a parameter then colon here very first thing is we have to return true if this condition is true and here else part we have to return false now for using this lambda function we have to assign it to some variable divisible by 3 and 5 so I have given this name divisible by 3 5 and now let us verify whether this anonymous function is working properly or not so say for example 15 so we know that 15 is divisible by 3 and 5 both so now let us run it and we can see that it is returning true because the, both the conditions are true now if we pass uh, 13 then it is returning false because 13 is not divisible by both right but say for example if I pass 10 so now let us run it so it is returning false because 10 is divisible by 5 but it is not divisible by 3 but here it should be divisible by both this anonymous function is working properly now our main problem is to print numbers between 1 to 50 which are divisible by 3 so we need a for loop and let us write that for loop over here for x in we have to generate numbers from 1 up to 50 so we'll use range function 1 to 50 then colon within this right we have to go on taking these values one by one from this sequence of numbers generated by this run and we have to pass it to this anonymous right so we have to use this variable like this if we have copied that variable over here and we are passing this x to this one over here we have seen that this is returning true or false over here and that was printed over here so same way over here when we call this anonymous function using this user defined variable it will return true or false over here if it is true then what we have to do we just directly print that number over here print the number x is divisible by 3 and 5 both so we'll print this message because our objective is to print all the numbers which are divisible by 3 and 5 and so over here if it returns true then we will print this statement otherwise we will continue to check the next number if it is a false there is nothing to do so now let us run it here we can see that we are getting three print statement number 15 30 and 45 are these three numbers are divisible by both 3 and 5 so let me once again briefly revise how this program is executed so so here range function generates numbers from 1 up to 50 here for loop will take values one by one from the numbers which are generated over here that x is passed to this anonymous function call and it will directly jump to this anonymous function definition over here so, so here it will check if the number which is passed over here to the anonymous function using this user defined variable over here if it is divisible by 3 and 5 both then it will return true over here and if it is true then we have to print the number because our objective is to print numbers between this 1 to 50 which are divisible by 3 and 5 this is how we can use anonymous function in different programs now let us look at advantages of lambda function the program with anonymous function has fewer lines of code because we can see that the regular function requires five lines of code whereas the lambda function requires or anonymous function requires single line of code to perform the same task that is to check whether number is odd or even same way in all the cases let it be a program to check whether number is odd or even a program to add two numbers or a function to check whether number is divisible by 3 and 5 or not in all cases we have a single line statement just not this important point that anonymous function requires only single line to perform the specified task so that is why we can say that program with anonymous function has fewer lines of code second advantage is the code is simple and clear as we can see over here it is very simple third advantage is the programs with anonymous functions have higher efficiency it can utilize multi-core cpus fourth advantage is they are very useful in 
in functional programming because in functional programming we have to pass functions as argument to some other function we can directly pass the anonymous function definition as argument to the functions now let us look at disadvantages of lambda function complex task requiring multiple lines of code cannot be performed using anonymous or lambda function and sometimes difficult to understand by novice programmers because the new programmers may not know how to define complex tasks within a single line of statement otherwise anonymous functions are very useful and any programmer can define functions for performing any task which can be written using single line statement now let's look at the applications of anonymous functions anonymous functions are heavily used with python's built-in functions like map reduce and filter and here is one of the example where we are using lambda function with built-in function filter so here we have a list of integer numbers and here is a filter function so filter function takes two arguments one is a name of the function or a function definition itself so here is a lambda function definition and second argument is a list of numbers and this complete filter statement is specified as argument to list for converting the result to list data type and then this list is printed over here now let us run it and then we'll explain how does it work so here we can see that we are getting 4 6 8 and 12 means this program is filtering the numbers from this given list means this program is for filtering the number which are odd it will discard all the odd numbers and will consider only even numbers now let us try to understand how the anonymous function is used with filter function so here we have a list and this contains these integer numbers and here is a lambda function and this lambda function will take these values from this list one by one over here automatically and it will go on checking these numbers one by one and here is a if the condition that if x mod 2 equals equals 0 means if the number is divisible by 2 then the number is even so it will store that number within the new list and if the number is odd then it will be simply discarded so this lambda function takes numbers one by one from this and it will filter out the numbers based on this condition so this is how we can use anonymous functions with this built-in functions like map reduce and filter so second application of anonymous function is it is used with key functions so key functions in python are higher order functions that take a parameter as a named argument and key receives a function that can be a lambda function and here are some of the key functions say the list method sort then python built-in functions like sorted main max uh, so these key functions are using lambda functions for performing the required task then third application is anonymous functions are used in ui frameworks like tkinter which uses lambda functions for mapping actions in response to ui event so here are the three applications of anonymous functions but there are number of other applications of anonymous function so this is all about anonymous functions in python in next video you will learn how to create our own modules in python with practical examples here we are ending this video